Welcome back, Rivals. This is Zonia, and you are in the zone. Today, we're going to be doing our five ELO matches. So, if you want to skip all of the deck building, then you can go ahead and click the link above. Otherwise, let's get straight into it. This week, I've got uh, a lot of stuff on my plate. Basically, this whole year has been a lot busier than I thought it would be for various reasons that I will not go into because I don't think you guys really care about real life stuff for me. You just want to see me play the game. And so that's exactly what I'm going to do for you here. So let's get through these as fast as we can. Basically, um, I'm going to be using Vortex here because we've got these extra rounds. If we look, I've still got uh, Uppers finished, Riots finished, Pussycats finished with as far as it needs to be for right now. So Vortex is the first one here. We need to win 30 rounds. That's going to be over really fast because we're at 27. And then we're going to need to win pills. So we're going to look for cards that give me pills from Vortex. And then we're going to be looking, we could do this uh, rescue with the 25 heal life points, but instead I think I'm going to go over here, back to my missions here in the flash missions. Um, I have not started working on my MC Leroy. I have got to get these other ones done really fast as well with Action Girl, but since we will not be in tourney mode, there's nothing I can do about Brianna right now. And so I'm going to move on and start working on the ones with MC Leroy. So we're going to do a half deck of bangers and a half deck of... Gaining pills with Vortex, which is ironic since Vortex is about losing, but gaining through losing. Anyway, so let's get into this. Let's go straight to our deck, hopefully. All right, so first thing we want to do here is we'll go with Vortex. The only thing we have uh, on limit for bangers is we need MC Leroy, so there's really no reason to worry too much about that. If you have not seen the new look of the cards, oh my goodness, it is beautiful. I cannot wait until this gets into the game. Let's go again, take a look at my collection. I love the look of these new cards. It is just classy. Really nice. All right, so we need pills. So let's start looking at some of these. Really like bubblegum because bubblegum gives me those plus two if I win. Gives me some back if I lose. Overall, excellent card for pills. Sea Wing is another potential card that we could use for sure because we're gonna use him to lose and we'll get the one pill back as well. Um, we do still need to win some rounds, so I might pull them out later, but we will see. Anyway, what else do we have in here that we can use? We could go with uh, Jordan, because he's got the copy out bonus, which will protect, but um, we're going to go ahead and skip that this time, because it's four stars for four damage, and that's not something that I really want. Um, do I really not have a higher version of Kali? Really? Alright, well we're going to level this card right now. Because Kali is an excellent card to be uh, doing this with. This mission was made for a card like her. We can throw Marty in as well. So we'll do Kali and Marty. Marty's going to be really good because he's going to give us a whole bunch of pills back, which is exactly what we wanted anyway. Until everything loads first. Uh, Kali is great. Let's just go into this. So Kali is really good because she's going to be giving us pills back if we win, which is exactly what we want as well. We need cards that we want to win with with Vortex. So we're going to stick that card in our deck and we're going to try and fit Marty in as well before everything reloads. So Kali, with her ability to uh, gain these pills, each round means that I can save her for later and still guarantee that I'm going to get a whole bunch of pills back either way, which is excellent because it means that I can go in and opponents will definitely want to go in further against her, which means that I can actually lose and still gain a whole bunch of pills back, which is excellent. Um, again, this is not going to be the best deck ever. I would generally never recommend this, but I'm going to stick Zoid in my deck because, again, if I uh, just go in with him very early and I lose, I will be getting a whole bunch of pills back with him. If I win, I get that 8 damage, which is just beautiful. So we have all that. All right, now let's head over to our bangers half. Um, again, so the goal here with Vortex is that we wanted to fill our deck with as many cards that will give us pills no matter what. Angora also would have been a good choice, actually, because of her stop-out bonus. Keeping our bonus alive, we wouldn't have to worry as much about the uh, SOB clans, but so be it. 
All right, so we move into bangers now. And uh, let's see, Blaster is uh, off limits this week. I do have Dixie, but I don't want to level her yet. I'll just leave her like that. Um, of course, do Duke Snop, Doug Snop, always a great choice. We've been through this before with a lot of our cards. Um, the main thing that I definitely need to make sure I have is that MC Leroy is in the deck so that I can steal pills with him. What else? We do not have any SOA yet, so Randall would be a good idea. And then we really need some DR. Is Vermin in up for use this week? I think I've got room for him in my deck. I'm using a lot of two and three stars, so I'm thinking I'll be able to fit him in here, but we will see. Play this week. My daughter is uh, very happy to spend most of her time right now eating rather than making very loud noises, as much as I'm sure you all love the noises. She's eating as loudly as she possibly can to show that she is still the one in control. My dad. That's right. You are always the one in control, child. Let's go ahead and throw Vermin N in there and then see where we are sitting deck wise. So I'll fast forward here. Okay, so we are sitting at 27 stars, which means that we just need to get rid of a two star, either a bubblegum or Sea Wing. And like I said, we need to make sure that we're winning. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of Sea Wing. And then this should give us our deck for this week. Our deck this week is Doug Snop or Dude Snop, MC Leroy, Randall, Vermin N, Bubblegum, Kali, Marty, and Zoid. So let's see how this works out. Um, so basically before we run in, um, how is this deck going to work? Again, the goal is to win rounds with Vortex. Make sure that we win that round with MC Leroy. So Leroy is going to be my number one right now because um, those extra missions for the RB are going to give me a lot bigger reward than just... Uh, the little stuff from the Vortex. So MC Leroy is our number one goal to remove those pills. We're going to want to do that early anyway because we need to make sure that we actually get rid of a pill. Um, and then we've got Bubblegum, Kali, Marty, and Zoid. We'll be going probably all in with Zoid if we think we can get away with some uh, two-hit KOs, which it looks like we've got plenty of four damage that we can try and sneak a, an early KO with or at least force a lot of pills and gain more of those back once we finish those three rounds winning with either Bubblegum, Kali, or Marty, or even Zoid. So, um, basic idea is use bangers in order to try and uh, bait for lots of pill play, then run with Vortex and try to gain as many pills as we can back. So, let's get into it. Our first opponent, level 51 from Germany, Weeded Tyler. We have an Mono Uluwatu, Dave, Eugene, Fanny, and Sean versus our Doug Snop or Doug Snop, MC Leroy, Randall, and Marty. So we will be leading with MC Leroy, most likely. Well, we are leading, so I get to choose. So we will be leading with MC Leroy. Need to look out for Fanny. What do I think Fanny is going to do? Um. Honestly, if it were me, I would probably just throw this match right now. Not because I have to, but because it's just not worth it for the missions. We're going to have to look out for Sean. Sean would be an excellent opener for them. So would Eugene, Dave, Fanny. Any of these could work. Um, obviously, he's going to think I'm going to be saving some for Doug Snop. Doug Snop. So I don't think he's going to assume... Why am I using the plus? I never use the plus. I guess it's because I've been using my phone more recently. Uh, let's do that magical, well, I'm going to do more than normal because, again, I want to make sure that uh, MC Leroy gets through. So I'm going to go all the way to 6. Even though it'll put me at 54, I'll be very sad if I see a 5-pill Fanny. I would not be surprised here to see a 0-pill Eugene or to see a 5-pill or 6-pill Sean. Um... If we see Dave or Fanny, it'll be a low pill just to try and check and see if we are honest. 
We don't have a whole lot of damage here, so honestly what I am expecting is more of a zero pill Eugene. That would be my guess for his first move. Because he'll be worried about the Randall and the SOA. And there we see Eugene come out. But did he play a few pills? He may have played a few pills. I don't think he's definitely he's definitely not. There we go. Alright, zero pill Eugene. So I could have been much more conservative, but we wanted to definitely make sure. Definitely wanted to make sure we got in that first minus pill. Very important for our missions. Moving right along on that. And we now have Dave, which is three damage, uh, which is a good counter. He probably has played just about as many as... Well, see, the thing here is, again, he's going to know that I've got Randall. And so he's probably not played very many on Dave, knowing that I will not have played too many as well. I'm going to hope that... He thinks that because he's got the pill lead, I'm going to try and go a little bit stronger on this one. So I'm just going to zero pill Randall. Maybe not the smartest idea, but I'd love to keep Duke Snuff in the best position possible, hoping to see a few pills here from him. Nope. All right. So I could have. I could have gone in with just a few pills. But we have kept him to one damage, which is excellent. And see, this is the round that really decides things, because uh, this is the round he's definitely going to want to play Sean. And so if he plays Sean and he wins and he does 5 damage, that is going to prevent Duke Snop, or Doug Snop from being able to really bring me back into this unless I can Fury. Which means that if he's expecting me to Fury, and he knows I'll get 1 back with Marty, he knows I can get back up to 9, and have 6 left times 9... 54 so we'd only need to save five with Fanny which means he could play six no four play seven with Sean and hit 70 which I can beat with uh, Duke Snop here so I'm gonna hope the problem is if I play Doug Snop he's gonna expect me to go all in which is unfortunate, but it is better to play Doug's Not first or Duke's Not first because it means that I've saved my four damage for later. If I bluff, then he will be in big trouble, and I think I could still be able to beat him with Marty. I would have loved to try and play Marty first. There is Fanny. Almost definitely Fanny. All in. Oh, just one. Excellent. But the problem is, is it does not matter at all because... Now he can simply outright win. So, good game we did, Tyler. Good game. What I should have done there instead is I should have furied with Duke Snop in order to ensure at least a tie. Well, no. He still would have been able to fury anyway. So, basically, it was already his game. Good game. We are now down to 9.93. We are 0-1. Our next opponent, level 63, I believe, from Russia, E.S. Kowalski. We've got Mono Junta, Arnie Bryan, Chiro, and Tolliver. Versus our Duke Snop, Randall, Verminen, and Kali. Hmm. So we've got lots of damage. Arnie here knowing that I well could throw Randall. We want to save Randall for Chiro or for Tolliver. So Vermin N would be the obvious throw here most likely. I think instead I'm going to go with Dude's Knot. Hmm. I'm going to go to 5 because that 5 pill is a very common opening. This will not put us in too much trouble if he has 0 pilled. Hopefully we can catch him here with uh, Duke Snot. Okay, so we could have gone with a 3 pill. Obviously that would have been ideal, but so be it. Alright.
right, so we've got two damage in. We have stopped Arnie. We are only only down by two pills, which is not too bad. So, I guess the next question is we want to try and prevent uh, Chiro from being able to do anything here. Whoa, child, please don't take off my stuff. Uh, trying to unplug me again from the computer. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. Um, since the last time, I believe she cut off the sound. We got Vermin N. I guess if we lead with Vermin N, then it's going to be very likely to see Brian. So, why don't we go ahead and lead Vermin N. I will go ahead and play six pills, and we will see where this lands us. There'll be almost no reason to play Chiro here when he has the option of Brian. He could throw off with Tolliver, knowing that Randall is going to completely destroy Tolliver next round. And then I can just let Tolliver through and stop Chiro, for example, maybe. Very difficult to predict just what exactly I'm going to be doing at this point for him. But it definitely looks like, um, honestly, I would probably say that throwing off with Tolliver might be his best move. And this could be his best move with Chiro as well, I guess. Simply because looking at the other options, his best, his best hope is going to be Chiro versus Kali for the damage. Here is Brian. Have we caught him? Indeed we have. We went in a few too many pills, though. That's all right, though. For the seven damage, it's worth it. Especially since we can hold his Chiro to four. Nine is the best he can do without a Fury. So really all we need to do is be able to prevent a Fury, which I believe we can do. If he has played even one pill, then I will be able to tie his Chiro with Randall, and he will not be able to get it, which means that this would have to be a zero pill Tolliver in order for him to be able to pull off the complete victory in order to be able to get that Fury on Chiro. So what I'm going to do is, because I do have Kali, I am going to go ahead and play two, just in case he has tried to go in for a little extra benefit, because we will get these pills back. And we can still go pill for pill against him up to three. He has gone in extra, thankfully. Very lucky there. And so with that, we will get a draw out of this. So excellent game, ES Kowalski. Excellent game. All right, with that tie, we are up to 996 ELO. We are 0-1-1. Let's go into our third match. See if we can't pull out a win finally. I can't breathe. Level 103. From the US. My daughter approves of your name, especially with the I being spelled differently. All right, so we've got uh, a I guess an amalgam or a mishmash of cards here. We got Irwigo, Tengu, Dr. Alma, and Annie versus our MC Leroy, Vermin N, Kali, and Marty. So, some excellent cards lined up here. Uh, we don't have to worry too much about bonuses, though we will probably see Irwigo or Tengu thrown out first. So, what shall we do? We have to worry about this reprisal from Annie as well as the high attack per life from these. He's probably waiting with Dr. Alma as well. So, with plus 14, we do want to try and put at least a little bit of a, a dent on that damage right off the bat. Hmm. MC Leroy is still going to be able to stay at 6 power. I will have to go well over Tengu. I am not a fan of this play. 
but I am going to hope. I'm going to save MC Leroy, and I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to just lead with Marty, zero pills. I'm just going to take the hit, whatever he decides, for round one. It would not surprise me to see a zero pill Annie here. It would not surprise me to see uh, Irwigo or even Tengu come out here. The main goal here is to get me a few more pills than him. And hopefully he'll play at least a few pills here. Perhaps he'll zero pill Dr. Alma as well, try, trying to neutralize one of those extra pills. That would also be a uh, rather unfortunate event. And there's Dr. Alma. Question is, how many pills? Three, excellent. So expecting me to go for the uh, three pill on Marty as well. I'm more than happy to come out three pills ahead on this. Getting one back of the two after losing one. He still has his full life, which is troublesome, but now I can decide whether or not MC Leroy will go up against Tengu because he will not play Annie. Oh, there's Here We Go. Okay. I agree, child. A. Eh? So with this, I think go to five that's gonna put us in a very good position and if we win we can go all in with Kali and then follow up with Vermin N and I think if this all works out this match may be already over if this is not oh no excellent play I can't breathe excellent play all right so that is very unfortunate for us in regards to the MC Leroy mission. However, with Kali now, let's see, even if Tengu brings Vermin and down to five, the most Tengu can hit is, assuming he keeps all of his life, 36 plus 14, be 50, which would be exactly what I get with Vermin N. However, if I can reduce that even just a little bit, it doesn't matter if Tengu necessarily gets through. Annie will not be able to stop me. I could do up to nine damage, which means that if Tengu does win this round, then I am toast. So I think I need to go all in here with Kali. Then I will get my growth back and see if we can win with Vermin N. So what I am hoping for here now is that he is going to realize that if he wins with Tengu, I will not be able to beat him with Vermin N because I cannot do 10 damage. So if he goes all in with Tengu, that's 50, but I have played 50 as well with Kali. We will see if he decides to go all in with Tengu or not. If he does go all in, and I'm expecting there is the Tengu. All right, so he's going for the tricky play. How many pills has he gone in? Ah, he saved just enough. Well played, I can't agree. Well played. So with that, he is left with more than enough to beat me this round. Perhaps a smarter move would have been to go just part way in or leave a few more pills just in case. Excellent, excellent game. I can't breathe. That was a clutch round two play. Nine eighty-eight ELO, we are zero, two, and one. Let's go back to the room and clear up some of this lag. All right, as you can see, nothing extra here. So let's get into our fourth match. Match number four versus level 128, X Saracenas. Saracenas. I'm sorry, I butchered your name. We have Mono Bangers, Doug Snopper, Dude Snop, Garrick, Juicy Lord, and Willie versus Randall, Vermin, and Bubblegum, and Kali.
And naturally, we have the lead off with Willie, but I have Randall, so it's very interesting to see that he has decided to lead with Willie anyway, knowing full well that I could just throw Vermin in for nothing. Or I could throw Randall in order to block him. Now, seven damage is something he is definitely going to want. He is at 11. Well, let's just see what, what, what's happened here. Um, I'm going to go to 7 because if I, if I lose, he could be planning for a 6 pill on one of these Vortex. I highly doubt it, but if I go to 7, then that will put me at 63, which would help me counter his uh, 5 pill. Because 5 pill is going to be 55, and if I do 6, that's only 54. If I win then we'll be one step closer to our Vortex mission, and we will have saved our stop off ability and Vermin in. Zero pill, three pill, okay. Perfectly fine, because we're gonna get two back. We'll only be down two pills. And we still have our DR. Makes sense that he played not quite as many pills because of Vermin in here. So now we've got to look for this uh, next round, Doog Snop or Garrick, but Getting rid of both of those is what we can do by simply throwing out Randall. The question is, do we actually want to play a few pills or not? And I think for me the answer is no, not yet. As much as I would love to play a few on Randall, this zero pill play is more than enough to force at least one additional pill from Garrick or Juicy Lord. Uh, Doug Snop, Doug Snop will be able to take me with a zero pill as well. However, it's only two damage, and I'm not very worried about that right now. I'm expecting to see Juicy Lord here because then he gets to save Doug Snop, which is what he's going to want versus Vermin, Vermin N and Kali. So I'm expecting to see at least a one pill play here, one additional pill from Juicy Lord. Absolutely no reason to throw Garrick. Except that maybe I guess you'd do a little bit more damage than versus Vermin N. So maybe Garrick. But I highly doubt it. There's the Juicy Lord. Two pill? Yep, just two. So indeed, I should have thrown one more pill. Just to stay safe. But that's not how we like to play these games. So let's see what we have here now. So if I go all in with Kali, which is what he's going to expect, I'm going to get six back. He's at nine. He would only need seven. Hold back at five. Hmm. This puts him back at five because he would need seven pills. Leave him with three, gain two back. He would be at six, and so would I. So the question is, do I really want to go all in? My guess is that he has gone all in. He's gone at least seven pills with Duke Snot, but I am going to play anyway. It really doesn't matter because he could actually play zero and still be able to win with a Fury later. So my guess, he has. Very, very unfortunate. I really wanted that Vortex win. Oh, sigh. It made a lot of sense for him to go in because there's no way that I would have gone all the way in with Vermin N. And if I had, he did need to cover that no matter what. And he now has enough to be able to tie me with Vermin N. So ideally, I think what I should have done is played one less pill with Kali in order to guarantee that I would have just one more. Oh, wait, hold on. No, I do have enough to win this round. I'm sorry, I, for I forgot. I thought it was uh, six versus seven. 
Even though he is at 8, 8 times 6 is going to put him at 48, and I will be at 49. So, either way, good game, X Saracenus. Excellent game. So, honestly, I kind of wish it had been the other way around. I would have rather won with my Vortex card in order to get that, that 30th round in and start earning those extra fills back. Anyway, that is the fourth match, so we are now 1, 2, and 1, sitting just over a 1,000 yellow now. And let's see if this last match puts us at above 1,000, or if we throw this deck into the Eternal Losers category. Level 60, Creech from France. We've got all Lejunta, and it looks like we've got Floyd, so someone is working on his Floyd Lejunta missions, most likely. Or maybe he just really likes Floyd, which is another perfect opportunity. We've got three of our bangers cards again. Um, oh, sorry. So on the, the Ojunta, we've got Floyd, Jane Ramba, CR, Laura, and Trish versus our Doug Snop, Randall, Vermin N, and Bubblegum. Again, no, no MC Leroy. Too bad. That's all right, though. We can do those matches elsewhere. Let's see. So I've got some Heavy DR, some SOA. And lots of pill return. Things are not looking too good for him. He can't lead with Floyd. He wouldn't throw away Jane Ramba. Can't throw Trish or Laura. He might have to lead with Jane Ramba. That might be his best option right now. Laura. Okay, so he is trying to bait the Randall. Let's go ahead and just throw out uh, five with uh, Doug's not see what we reel in. Excellent. So um, I did not want to play three because I was hoping that the opponent would assume three based on the plus two pills. This does give us a pill advantage, which is excellent. We have both Floyd and Trish this round, which we can combat entirely by throwing Vermin in. The issue here being seven, six, five, four. The issue being here, obviously, uh, we're going to lose quite a bit of power. I'm going to go ahead and just play one more on Vermin N, just to keep him honest. He plays Floyd or Trish. I do not want him getting away with no pills played whatsoever. Maybe we'll get lucky and he'll play two or three. Based on what he has left, I'm guessing he'll play Trish over Floyd. However, Floyd would turn out in a much better winning position. Vermin N will remove just as much damage. Okay. As expected. Floyd does give him very much superior pill lead, so he does not have to pill quite as much to ensure. And we have Jane Ramba. We are equal. As far as damage is concerned right now so all we really need to do is make sure we beat Trish so if Trish here has uh, just five power versus our Randall it's gonna be 45 8 means I only need six okay we can move that down to four because bubblegum will give us two back right This will also cover... I only need six, though, in order to cover the Fury. Let's go ahead and see what happened here. If he goes all in with Jane Ramba, there is the Fury. Excellent. Glad we covered that. All right, well, excellent game, Creech.
and once again, the battle has timed out. Hopefully, I'm just going to assume that Preach accidentally drove underneath a giant mountain and lost his internet access and could not finish. We have finished our 30 rounds with the Vortex. We can move on to the 60 pills now at some point in the future. We end this week 2-2-1 two, two, and one with a 10-23 ELO. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this deck. It wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst either. Um, getting closer on our 500 wins in ELO. We'll be closing that out here, hopefully, sooner than later. Um, yeah, so uh, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. I'm interested to hear what you thought about this deck and uh, how things went this week. Also, uh, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you really liked it, don't forget to share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget to subscribe for more of my Urban Rivals videos. This is Zonia, and you've been in the zone.